Hi, my name is Ann Wolf. I'm a pediatric physical therapist at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. Uh, I'm part of our infant care team, so that's a specialty team of therapists that have additional training in the treatment of infants and toddlers. And today we are going to be talking about the things that come after walking. So there's tons of information out there about kind of the first year of milestones where you're talking about rolling, sitting, crawling, tummy time, and then how to get your child to walk. But what comes after walking? That is what we're gonna to discuss today. So we expect walking between 12 and 18 months. That is the average time frame for first steps. When you're thinking about first steps, you're thinking about just those first couple, you know, maybe two or three consecutive steps. We are gonna be talking about all of the things that can come after that for your child. In the first couple of weeks after you see first steps, you would expect to see more consistent use of getting into a standing position and taking more consecutive steps. So I'm talking about five to 10 feet of consecutive steps. Being able to walk forwards using a symmetrical pattern where each foot is leaving the ground for the same amount of time, walking forwards without falling. That's the first thing that you're gonna see. Initially, when you have your child starts walking, you're gonna see them holding their hands up in a higher guard position. So their hands might be up in the air, kind of like this while they're walking. You should see that start to gradually come down to where they're able to walk with their hands down kind of by their sides. That is something that you should notice is that their general walking form is looking like it's smoother, it's looking more consistently used, it looks like it's getting easier, and it looks like it's getting more efficient. That would be the first thing to watch for. The next thing that you're gonna watch for is that not only can they walk forwards, but they could walk forwards, maybe bend down to pick up a toy, stand back up, and then continue to walk forwards. That shows us a lot of things about your child. That tells us that they know how to slow down in a controlled way and come to a stop without falling, that they have the leg strength to be able to squat down to the floor and pick something up, and that they have the strength and control to be able to then start walking again. So it shows us they can change their speed and they can change their body position. That is gonna be one of the first things that you should notice that your child is able to do <clears throat> after they take independent steps. The next couple things that you'll start to see are side steps and backwards walking. Those are just a couple of, maybe you see two or three steps to the side or backwards. That is gonna help your child be able to navigate their environment a little bit better. They're gonna be able to avoid obstacles, walk around things in their way um, a little bit more smoothly. So you will start to see that come pretty quickly in the couple of weeks after you see first steps. The next thing that you're gonna see is that they can more easily increase or decrease speed with control. So initially, when our kids first start walking, there are gonna be tons of falls, especially if they're trying to slow down. Over the first couple of weeks after seeing first steps, you want to be able to see that they can start to speed up and slow down without losing their balance. That might be during when they're trying to you know, pick up toys from the ground, it might be if they're trying to go up or down a slight incline, but generally you should see that they can start to speed up and slow down within their walking without falling, you know, four to six weeks after they take their first steps. Over the first six months after they start walking, you should see a lot of changes in the way that your child walks. The big things to watch for are that they're walking starts to be more fluid, that they're doing really well with direction changes, that they're able to pick up any object off the floor that they want to and come back to stand. We would be looking for all of those things in those first six months. Another skill that you're watching for is your child's ability to go up onto tiptoes. So tiptoes shows us that they have the balance to maintain their balance when they go up onto their toes, which is a kind of a smaller base of support. It also shows us that their leg muscles are getting stronger. That is really important because around two years old, we expect our kids to be able to start jumping with two feet, jumping off the ground with both feet and landing with two feet. Seeing them use their tiptoes before that tells us that the right muscles are starting to get stronger and that they're getting closer to that jump. The next thing you're gonna be watching for, also, which generally comes around two years, but it's typically about six months after you see walking. So if your child doesn't start walking until later in that kind of 12 to 18 month time frame you may see that running is a bit delayed as well. Um, but about six months after you see the start of walking, we expect to see running. So we define running as kind of a tr having a true flight phase. So both feet leave the ground together. Um, that is what differentiates running from walking. Walking, you always have one foot on the ground. Running, both feet leave the ground and you are kind of in flight for at least a brief period of time. That's what defines walking, or that's what defines running.
So those are the big things that you're watching for after your child starts taking their first steps. If you have questions or concerns on any of those things, or if you think your child would benefit from therapy services, please find us at emergepeds.com um, and we would love to hear from you. Have a great day.